hello, person that is watching YouTube at this time. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be playing Splatterhouse for the TurboGrafx-16, my absolute favorite Turbo game. Like, this game is awesome. Uh, in a previous video, I made, uh, I played Splatterhouse, the arcade version. Now, this is, uh, it's a little different from the arcade version. For one, his mask is a different color for some reason. Uh, the rumor that I heard is they changed the color of the mask as to not copyright uh, Friday the 13th. That's the rumor I heard. I don't know that that's true or not. But this is an amazing, amazing port from the arcade. I don't ex actually know which one. I think I like this one more. Uh, the visuals are fucking beautiful. Like, th this game is a masterpiece. And a must-have if you own a TurboGrafx-16. Absolute must-have. Like, this game right here was a reason to own the system. There's plenty of good games on the Turbo, but nothing like this. And for the time, you couldn't find gore like this. Hell, you couldn't find a horror game like this. Like, this is phenomenal. Amazing visuals. Excellent controls. This is one of those games that I would rate 10 out of 10. I, sh I love the visuals so much. This is beautiful. Those fucking pixels, man. The pixels get to me. You know, just, just a work of art. This is a work of art. Thank you. 
shit. Fuck. This poltergeist boss, by the way, is fucking awesome. Like, who thought of this shit? Shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Fuck. Come on, you bastard. Woo! Stage three is when it starts to get hard. is to try to well to not do that first off <laughs> and to try to hold on to both those shotguns for the end boss who is a uh, raving lunatic with fucking chainsaws and just beats the shit out of you eh. not good Not good at all. Ugh. Damn it. Fucker. There he is, Mr. Chainsaw Hands. <laughs> well, I gave it a good shot. That game is always so much fun to play. So much fun. I'd continue going, but I just wanted to make a small video on this. Uh... It's a damn good game. Now, I, 
Like I said, I, I debate back and forth whether the arcade version or the turbo version is better. Right now, I'm going to say the turbo version's better. You know, it's, uh, it's fucking amazing. Everything about it's amazing. And, like I said, it, it's a must-have if you own a TurboGrafx-16. And, you know, obviously I was playing this on a ROM. Uh, the ROM is fucking amazing, too. A lot of ROMs are amazing. You know, like, most of the uh, retro games that I play to make these videos are ROMs. Uh, the equipment I have to hook up old systems just doesn't look as good. You know, like, this is much more crisp. It's an HD. It's it's beautiful. Uh, you know, and I'm sure there's equipment. I, well, I'm, I'm actually positive there's equipment that you can purchase, but I don't, I don't got that kind of money. You know, like, I, I don't got no fucking money lately. So, uh, I use what I got, and I put it up. Uh, I sure as shit wouldn't be able to ho hook up my TurboGrafx-16, because that's not even, uh... You know, that's not even the uh, yellow, white, and red cords. That, that's, that's fucking, uh, that's some old school shit. Unless you buy the little expansion piece that goes on the back of it, which I do not own. Uh, yeah, the TurboGrafx-16 was a great system. Now, I didn't have this one as a kid. I purchased it uh, when I was in my early 20s on eBay and started playing through the games. You know, like I, uh, the first one that I got, you know, I purchased a package. It came with like 14 games. Fortunately, Splatterhouse was one of them, which that is the one that I played the most. And then the second Turbo Graphics I purchased was at a retro game store. You know, just as a backup. So yeah, that's uh, that's my video on Splatterhouse. Very good game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh. If you did, you know, like the video and, you know, please subscribe. I'm always trying to make more videos. Uh, I just make a bunch of videos, you know, like, I don't know. It's, it's totally random. I'll make a bunch in one day or I won't make any for a week or, you know, what the fuck ever. It's, this is all random what I do. Everything is random. Uh, the types of games I play, you know, I never know what I'm going to be in the mood for. Uh, I might play Atari 2600, I might play some fucking PS4 Pro, you know, I don't know. It's whatever the hell I'm in the mood for that day. But, you guys have yourselves a great day.